Hello YouTube. Welcome back. Today I want to talk a little bit about pistons. Um, I love it. I love it. You get on the forums and you talk to the one guy who's held the piston in his hand one time and he seems to know more about them than you. It's kind of interesting, kind of funny. Anyway, I've been manufacturing pistons for the past 15 years of my life. But it's okay. We can still say that I know nothing about um, <laughs> pistons. <laughs> Let me show you kind of where, where we've gone and what I've done over the years. So this is one of the first ones. Um, okay, now we'll go back. Sorry. These are all for snowmobiles. I'm a two-stroke guy, so two-stroke snowmobile. Now we currently manufacture pistons for side-by-sides, snowmobiles, watercraft, and thinking about dabbling in the chainsaw market. Um, that's kind of what um, brought this, this video up today is I've got a handful of customers that know I manufacture pistons and they want pistons for like the 500i. Pistons, cylinder, stuff like that that they can't find aftermarket yet. So I'm thinking about jumping on the bandwagon. Let me show you. So some of the questions I've asked them, I will, I'll just present them right here. So like I said, these are some of the early pistons. Now these are big stuff. Well, big to a chainsaw guy, 85 millimeter, you know, typical snowmobile stuff. Um... So first we went with just a cheap design with no coating. Then we've gone to like uh, this poly coating and see that you can, it, this is for like startup, initial break in. See that, you, that got scraped right there. So this coating does scrape off. If you tear this engine down at like 500 miles, this coating will be gone, okay? And here we go again. It depends on how thick we do this coating. So moving on, um, that's called a molly coating in the snowmobile world. Okay. There we go again. Just the typical molly coating works good for braking procedure. Good piston. And we're not going to talk about the angle of the dome, flat top, ring landings, ring location. You know, that that's all varies and that's good for another video. Um, so the ones I have here, I'm showing you are for different models. Like that's Polaris 800. This one here is a Skidoo 800R. So with this one, um, this is called the WST coating that I do. It's pretty sweet. Now these pistons are manufactured in Japan by the same piston manufacturer that builds OEM Yamaha. We've had really good luck with them. So latest and greatest, we've got oil lubrication holes and all four corners of where, let's say, a snowmobile would tend to cold seize, okay? These little oil grooves right here, this is the same that uh, OEM has. That was not my idea, but it, it works, seems to work great. Pistons, you know, 10,000 miles easy. Now, um, back to the chainsaw world. Um Chainsaw, I mean, these guys, they want something that spins 15,000 RPM all day long. Now, a snowmobile, a snowmobile, granted, they're twin cylinders, these ones, and they power peak between like 7,800 to, let's say, 8,400 RPM is where these tend to power peak at. So, um, I guess, what are your thoughts on me? Making the making some pistons that they want, and I would add the oil holes, drill these oil holes like we've done here. Now, this piston has the reason this top is a different color is the top has been heat treated differently than the heating process versus the rest of the piston. Okay, now of course, these are all cast pistons, these are all built by robots, but it's pretty cool to go to the factory and watch and, and put your input in and say, nope, this is what I want, this is how I want it, this is, you know. Anyway, like I said, these are just some Snow X brand pistons for snowmobiles that I'm showing you today, but at least you'll understand when I say, you know, oil lubrication holes in the sides where this, you know, this is one that they sent me, this has nothing, nothing to do with that, so... I don't know. Let me know your thoughts on that. Um, we also manufacture, well, I, I get it, <clears throat> manufacture quite a few cylinders. A lot of them for monoblock, typical Polaris Skidoo stuff. So let me show you one here because they also want me to mix, see if I can get them some, uh, some cylinders. They're specifically talking about 500i and the 
like 661, stuff like that. This one we part. Let me open this up real quick, sorry. So this one here comes with piston. Um, no oil lubrication holes in that one. Okay, when we're talking about cylinders, I mean, lots of you know what, you know, the basics. This is a typical snowmobile cylinder. This one here is nickel coated. Now, when you're talking about getting cylinders nickel plated, I've visited many factories and I've been involved with a lot of these. Some of the biggest questions that get brought up to the table or that we talk about is the nickel content. What percentage, okay? The percentage of the nickel content. Um, this one's kind of hard to see. And that's the next question is how thick, how thick is the nickel plating? Is it, you know, did they rub it on by hand? Did they dip the cylinder in? You know what I mean? Yeah, it looks a little dirty there. That's where the piston was. Anyway, these are just, just food for thought. So for those of you who want me to manufacture, you know, or help them manufacture, questions to think about. Nickel content and nickel plating wall thickness. Or do you want chrome plating? You know, I'm a fan of nickel plating myself, but, you know, to, to each their own and depending on how far they want to take this. So I guess those in the industry are those who would be interested in some chainsaw. You know, once you make one, it's easy to make a big bore, do whatever you want, get pist pistons that match the cylinder, kind of like we do here with this snowmobile application. This is a, just a fan-cooled snowmobile. So a simple bolt-on, you know, buy a bolt-on kit, replacement kit. Don't need any cylinder cores back for replating at all. So anyway... Food for thought. Um, hopefully this helps um, answer a few of the questions when it comes to manufacturing your own pistons and cylinders and what's involved. And then it's just a couple trips to Asia. <laughs> you know, it's all fun. But anyway, okay, let me know what you think, guys. Talk to you soon. See ya. Bye.